OK. Uh, Seth in California. Hello, Seth. Seth. Hi. Hello. Hi, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, my question was, um, OK, I am an atheist, and I have a lot of LDS friends and family, and they're really great. But um, I, I often like to have conversations with them. And um, the LDS faith is very interesting. Because they don't believe in it. Latter day Saints, uh, right? Yeah, Latter day Saints, I'm sorry. Which is, yeah. which is Mormonism, right? A branch yeah, of it. Exactly. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, they believe in their different um, kingdoms, so no one really goes to hell, um, mm -hmm. which makes it difficult for me because I like, I'm trying to present the um, issue of uh, finite and infinite punishment. Yeah, well, well, I mean, don't be married to the one argument. I mean, it's fine and good to have, like, a great argument against something that they don't believe, but <laughs> if they don't believe it, then what's the point? You're, right. you're on the same page already. Oh, okay, I see. So, so you're saying that it's really not worth making the argument well, not if that's not what they believe. Yeah. The, Why would you argue against something <laughs> they don't believe? What's the point? Right. Well, it, well, it's well, like saying, well, they, I don't know about you, but I think axe murdering people is wrong. And, <laughs> you know, I've, here's, here's all my reasons why. We don't really have those conversations with people who already agree with us. <laughs> okay, um, I see. Uh, which, which is why, if you listen to the show a lot, you'll all often hear uh, people opening with the question, what do you believe and why do you believe it? Because you're trying to have a conversation about what people actually think, so, not about your preconceptions about what they should so think. So is the call to ask, I, I'm not even sure I understand what you're asking. So you're saying that the argument for a finite crimes being punished infinitely, of course, it's an injustice and the LDS doesn't have a version of hell, kind of like the Jehovah Witnesses don't have hell either. Um, and so are you, are you asking us if you should use that argument with people that don't believe it? Or are you, I mean, I don't understand what no. your question is. Well, 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 okay, okay, because I, I think I have a basis there because I mean, um, because the Book of Mormon constantly talks about um, people being thrust down to hell and when they say, well, it's not uh, what? exactly, uh, um, the Book of Mormon, their Book of Mormon sure, talks sure. about people being thrust down to hell, but they argue that it's not really hell, it's a self-inflicted hell, and that their lowest state of hell, their lowest kingdom, they believe in different kingdoms. Okay, then is, may maybe the argument you should be having with them is, well, why doesn't the Book of Mormon say what it means? <laughs> I mean, you know, if, if they're trying to sort of dance around the obvious meaning of that text, but... Um, yeah. I just think if they have some weird afterlife thing and if they're say, if if they are uniform and saying that, you know, this isn't what it means and they don't take it to mean that if their tradition is different than what you feel it plainly says, there's you're not going to get very far trying to tell them what their book means. Um, they're just if that's you got to go with with how they view it. It's like what we do on the show. We'll tell somebody tell us what you believe and why you believe it. Um, they may call themselves a Christian, but they may have beliefs that are, you know, weird interpretations of something that's in the Bible that, you know, maybe I've never even heard before. Um, but I have to go with what they're telling me they believe uh, and not how I interpret. I can't sit there and, and tell them, no, you have to believe what this, what I think this says. Um, if they don't, they don't. I, ha I have to go with what they believe. Okay, okay, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so, I mean, really, they're, in, in some sense, they're kind of making up their reli own religion, or they're kind of picking and choosing the bits of the Book of Mormon that they think are good and throwing away the rest. So... That, that they really do. Yeah. What, oh, they re you think they secretly do believe in hell? No, no. Um, they, they just, they, they cherry pick. They, oh, oh, yeah. They versus, okay, I see what they, you mean. They pick verses that are nice, and verses they don't like, they say, well, we'll, we'll never understand it, that there's some... Yeah, higher meaning so, there, so, I mean, if you want to have that conversation, then focus on the bits that it seems they're making up, like things you don't agree with and maybe aren't in the Book of Mormon, and say, well, that's not in your book, so how did you come to decide that, and why would I think that's true? And this would also only be important if you're interested in learning more about what they believe, because, I mean... <laughs> the, the differences in doctrines and the arguments about whose doctrines are better or worse is something that happens within church communities. So you have different, uh, different sects that argue about who's right about the Bible, who's interpreting this Bible verse right. I don't feel a need to engage in that. 
Um, I don't get in there and try to determine which of them has a good interpretation of the Bible. I, uh, you know, I have my ideas about what I think it's, it's saying, and I, you know, some people are going to agree and, not, and some are not. But my, uh, my whole point with engaging uh, with a theist who is willing to talk or wants to talk would be, does a God exist? I, I really don't care what your doctrines are. I, I'm not interested in, in what you think about this entire platform that you've built on your God belief. I want to know why you believe in God. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well thanks, thanks and for... uh, good luck with those conversations. Yeah, absolutely. Bye. Right, thank you for taking my call. Bye. Sure. Sure.